What's up guys, this is Corey. Something a little different. I wanted to show you our, uh, uh, how we've been expanding. Uh, we've been trying to get into some other brands. You guys are used to seeing me being the Clips guys. We're trying to expand our horizon and get into a few other brands. So this is the Q Acoustics. This is the 3000i series. There's only six of us allowed to sell this in the US at this point. Me and a few other top dealers. So very good opportunity. Just stupid to waste it. So we're, we're excited. Um, we got this first shipment at the showroom. So we're going to move inside here in a second. We're going to unbox them. Uh, Jason's never heard these before. So I can, I can tell you these um, these 3050 eyes these are absolutely little monsters one of the best uh, deals in the hi-fi world um, several reviews out there uh, less than a thousand bucks just absolutely great bang for your buck so we've been selling b stock for a while but uh, we're we're hoping to hit the new a stock market pretty pretty hard so yeah we'll we'll move inside and we'll unbox at least a couple of the towers and uh, we'll show you what they're all about Hey guys, we just unloaded all of the Q Acoustic stuff that you saw outside. Um, before we did anything else, we wanted to take the biggest ones that we got and bring them in and uh, bust these open and see what exactly we got. Uh, we're real excited about these. These are very good bang for the buck. And um, we'll do the uh, actual review at a later date, but we just wanted to do a quick unboxing and uh, first impressions type of thing. So let's get to it. So these are packaged a little bit different than your other towers that you see us doing. And if you haven't noticed already, Jason's behind the camera. Hi. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, we're opening them from the side instead of opening it from the ends. So, so what we're going to do is we're just going to roll it. Okay. So there, there isn't much to this. So, you know, we've got a port plug. Um, I'm just cleaning up the extra packing material at this point. Realistically speaking, about the only thing that there is, is, where is it? Yeah, this little packet right here. So it's gonna have little feet. And there's just, there's not much to this whole thing. So it kind of opened up on us a little bit, unfortunately, but it's okay. So, so you'll see our spikes and our screws to hold the bracket on, and then basically just rubber feet. That's pretty much it, except for this bracket. So, all right, so basically what we're gonna do is attach this rear stabilizer bar and I don't know if it's something to do with the difference in American versus British speakers, but um, it's very tempting to put this on, on the front, but it actually goes in the back. So what we're supposed to do is attach these spikes. Well, if it's going on hardwood, you're supposed to do this number. So you take, you take the rubber and you just cap it off. Gotcha. So. Now, you don't have to put these in all the way, you know, the instruction manuals basically say put it halfway in. So you're, you're going to be able to adjust the, the height of it somewhat. And that's pretty much it. We are going to flip this the rest of the way over. So yeah, I get a lot of people who are like, you know, I just live in an apartment. I can't blast to high heavens and I don't have that kind of budget. I mean, these things were made for such a situation. The only other accessories that uh, you could potentially use is that they do come with this port plug. They call it a bung, which uh, I've never heard of that. But it, it's just, you just shove it in here. And you don't have to use it, but um, basically, rear ported speakers are, are done so. Uh, for a couple reasons. Basically, the intent is that you, you get all the low bass, but by reporting it, uh, you're, you're basically dissipating mid-range artifacts, any kind of chuffing uh, that's going to go away once it's reported. 
However, um, and, and remember this is like an English company. Uh, over in England, a lot of their um, uh, houses, their living rooms are, are smaller and they, they often like to put stuff right up against the wall. So in instruction manuals, it, uh, it basically reminds you if, if you have to hug the wall and put a rabbit up against the wall, maybe you should just plug the thing. So when you do that, it's not going to, you know, that, that port's not going to be able to breathe right. You could get very boomy bass. So by plugging it, you're effectively turning this into a sealed cabinet, which um, you're not going to get any of the effects from the um, port. Um, there's pros and cons. Uh, ironically, once you seal it, the woofers around the tuning frequency are actually going to, you know, be the excursion is going to be a little bit higher than usual. Um, so, technically speaking, your power handling isn't quite as high, but you'd really have to be spanking the things for it to be an issue. So, most people are just going to leave that plug out, but that option is there if you need to. There's there's several. Uh, several speakers that do this, even they're nicer, like the concept uh, uh, 500s do this. I, actually, supposedly all of the 3000 series do. Um, you know, SVS uh, often comes with port plugs, so it's a, it's a pretty common thing to do. One other thing to take note of, which I don't think it's mentioned in the owner's manual, but unfortunately I'm extremely far-sighted ever since I uh, had eye surgery, so I could have missed it. Um, but they they actually send you two different sizes of uh, these lock nuts, and uh, one is much bigger than the other. Um, these are supposed to go in the front, so which which makes more sense. Um, my wife put one together up front, up uh, at the uh, apartment, and uh, I don't think we did this. And it, it's actually tilted forward towards the floor, so you don't want to do that. And All right, so basically these are the black. They come in four colors. There's black, there's walnut, there's gray, and my favorite is white. Uh, white's actually the least popular for some reason. I think they look incredible personally, but um, most people are going to want the black. Uh, Americans like black speakers, it seems. But uh, we've been selling the B-stock for a while, and people buy every color, to be honest. So, um, But yeah, uh, as, as we get more time in on the couch and um, get uh, several, several albums through these things, and I can talk more intelligently about them, uh, we'll follow up with a, uh, a full review. But for now, if you got a smaller space and or a smaller budget, but you want speakers that don't wimp out, that are very comfortable, uh, there's no reason not to consider these. Very comfortable, very nice form factor. The fronts, the the drivers, the little chrome bezels. I I just for the kind of price point, you just can't beat these things. So uh, we stock everything Koo acoustics, especially the three thousand series. Like I said before, there's only six of us at this point. Uh, me and five other uh, the top dealers. Uh, so yeah, we're we're going to be hitting these pretty hard, and. Um, yeah, so check us out on the website. We have most everything listed. If you see something that we missed, let us know. But yeah, PadukaHomeTheater.com. Go to all collections. Just select uh, Q Acoustics, and you should be able to see everything. Uh, holler at me. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.